Former Judge Sue L. Robinson's full report on Watson's fate was released a few hours after her ruling and was sharply critical of both Watson and the NFL. Lena Lai breaks it all down with a legal expert. This is a very thorough opinion, and the reasoning is sound. All three legal experts we spoke with agreed with Sue Robinson's reasoning. She's looked at the facts. She's looked at the rules. In her 16-page decision, the former federal judge is direct and graphic in describing Deshaun Watson's predatory conduct and reckless disregard for the consequences of his actions. So I think that she actually gave a thoughtful presentation, chastised Watson, chastised the league. So why six games when the NFL wanted a minimum year-long suspension? Robinson points to the NFL's own policies and precedent, noting that only two players have been suspended eight games, one for multiple incidents of domestic violence, referring to Antonio Brown, the second for the assault of multiple victims, a reference to Kareem Hunt. Robinson to notes that one player, Greg Hardy, has been suspended for 10 games for multiple incidents of domestic violence. It is here where Robinson draws a distinction between these violent acts and what she calls Watson's nonviolent sexual conduct. The NFL makes the rules. <laughs> they define what they have to prove in this instance. Robinson writes that the NFL gave notice to players of a minimum six game suspension for violent conduct, but for nonviolent conduct, the punishment has been less and that changing its practice because of public outcry would be unfair. I think if Goodell's smart, he takes the suspension and they move forward. Well, Robinson also added one requirement as part of Watson's reinstatement that he stay away from massage therapists that are outside the club for the remainder of his career. Again, the NFL has three days to decide whether to appeal that ruling. Ross. Okay, Lena Lai in the newsroom. Thank you.